Hey guys, today we have this Canon PIXMA TS5120 that we've done some videos on and we're going to take this apart today. Um, the reason for the video is just if you need to get to certain parts such as formatter board or the main board, um, how to replace some trays. So we're going to go over everything, most, most of the parts that are on this printer. So stay with us, don't forget to like and let's get right to it. Okay, so the tools that we're going to use are going to be the Phillips head screwdriver and then we're going to use a flat head screwdriver to remove some clips um, on the printer. We're going to start with uh, an external parts and just go step by step and remove uh, most of the parts on this printer. Okay, and um, so let's start with basic, the most basic part that comes out of this printer is this paper tray. We can just pull that out and um since we started on the tray let's get to the rear tray that's you know usually your photos are going to be loaded onto this one so when you lift this one up like this here you can push either side so you can just push like i'm going to push the left side um keep it about there i'm going to push it to the right and kind of bend it a little bit right here and slide it up that removes it from this latch here and you have that one out. To put it back in, same thing, you're just gonna slide one in, one side in and then remove that. On this back side right behind the uh, support tray, we have the cover right here that has the duplex unit. To remove it or to clean it, that's how to get to it. You don't even have to remove the tray you can just lift it up you're going to get access to this cover and remove the um, duplex unit and clean the rollers if that's where you're having paper jams from here we're going to move on to removing the side panels on the printer since we have access to the screws right here in the back you'll see two here and two here um, what you will need to do is just remove any tabs if you have any tabs in here just remove them um, so like I said, it's going to be a Phillips head screwdriver, and we're going to remove those screws. There's one. Second. Three. And four. Now we're going to go to the front of the printer. We're going to lift the top cover, and you're going to see screws over here. There's one on this side, one on this side. We're just gonna go ahead and remove those. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna see these um, little holes here with arrows on them. You're just gonna go ahead and put a flathead screwdriver in there and just push it away. There we go. Push this panel away. For our second one, same thing. Gonna press in. And that releases the tray. Uh, the panel, I'm sorry about that. You're just gonna pull it back. And kind of just wiggle it out of there. There are some of these on the bottom and you can uh, use them to kind of release at the bottom there but you don't have to. You're just gonna release as you push the top ones off. So now we have this panel removed. And on this side, we have the main board. If you need to reconnect some wires, and then there's also a connection for the uh, power supply. There's also this wheel that is um, Part of the alignment, it's not the timing strip like we see the, for like go from right to left of the printer, but it does do positioning. It's usually, it doesn't cause any problems, but here if you need to clean it, you have access to it here. Um, power supply is removed from the bottom, so we don't need to open the side up in order to remove the power supply. That's something that I just, I'm just gonna do right now. Um, but anyway, these are all the connections here. If you feel like some wire is disconnected or something, open the panel and get that resolved. So before we remove the power supply, let's go ahead and 
um, get this one removed. So there's um, this access point for the clip was right here. That removes our So we got this panel off. On this side, it really is not much. You have an access to this support spring right here. Um, so that's kind of, it's not that much, but still, if you need that removed, it's pretty simple. Let's remove our power supply before we continue with the printer. So like I've said, this does not need to be, uh, like you don't need to remove any parts in order to get to here. What you do is just pick the printer upside down there's a tab right here that you can just push away and there's a tab right here they're the only ones holding the um, the power supply so when you remove it there's gonna be a connection right here so you're gonna go ahead and just disconnect the wire there when you put it back in there's only one way to connect this wire so if you have it upside down you won't be able to put it in so this is our power supply on the bottom, since we have the printer on the bottom, this is where our pickup roller is. That's if you need to clean it if your paper is not being picked up. And right here we have the uh, paper output tray. Okay, to remove the paper output tray, it basically slides in here. The tab slides inside of this um, groove right here. So you're just going to slightly pick it up right there and just let it kind of get out of that groove there and that will allow you to just slide it out this is the paper output tray mine is missing the tab right here but this is where your paper lands when it's printed out i'm about to take off the uh, top portion here and i i'm just going to go ahead and remove uh, disconnect the wiring here these go to the front of the printer so um these here are the wires for the carrier unit one thing that I forgot to mention is uh, I let the carrier slide to the middle and then I unplug the printer. That allows me to move the carrier back and forth um, and just get stuff done. So back to the main board, I'm just going to disconnect these wires because I'm going to remove the top portion. I don't want any wires to rip. I'm going to remove this panel. It sits right here. Oops sits on top here just covering these wires and you can see which ones go up this is most likely the scanner wire right here okay so we got that so now this is holding the top portion from opening more I'm going to remove this screw right here And that will allow me to remove the support and open the lid all the way up. We have the wire disconnected already. Whoops. And this wire here, got it disconnected, but it's hidden under this uh, tape right here. So go ahead and carefully remove that. And we're going to remove the top portion. So this one has the scanner inside of it okay now we've gone this far we have our printer opened up like that I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything here so some wires are just uh, they're connected by pushing in some are like here with the clamp right here not sure which one this goes to but you can see there's a clamp so you can put the wire in and then clamp it. So that's one of those. Just disconnect all these wires so I can get the main board removed. This here. Okay. We're going to remove this so we can take the um, this plastic cover right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this screw right here 
Let's see if that does anything. It's kind of holding it back. I just don't want to break anything, so it feels like it's under this panel right here. So what I'm going to do is just remove the screw right here that holds it. And there's another one on this side. And that should allow us to remove the top. Oh, I missed a couple of screws right here. So there's a screw right here. That's already behind the panel, so... Um, and always connected by clips so you can use a flathead screwdriver to just remove the uh, clips right here like so go all the way around there's another right here so I just took this camera down a little bit so you just have to push that to the back side here to the left the uh, left side Okay, let's remove this screw right here. It's also holding it back. There's the front control panel. Let's see if there's another, yeah, one other one right here. And then the front just slides up after you remove the screws. These panels, right and left, slide up and slide out. Like so, watch for the wire right here. To avoid ripping that, it's kind of wound up in there. Okay, this is our front uh, operation control panel there for this printer. After we remove that, we can see a couple more screws. So this model has a couple, like a few more screws than usually they would have. Um, some printer models from Canon, there were only two and that's it. Everything else was clips. So we remove this one. Okay, so this is how far we've gone. Now let's get back to this little plastic here that wasn't allowing us to get to the... Um, to our main board. Should have a clip somewhere. That just okay, so there's clips on the back here. You can just pull them up and pull that out. These wires out. You can also disconnect it right there, just like that. And there we go. Okay, now we have our main board for this printer. You can disconnect everything else. And I mean, it's pretty small, but it does the job. It's got a lot of functions on this printer. And it's doing that. And you can see the main board is right here. The wireless card is right next to it over here. So, um, and it's connected right there. So this is the wireless card. It's just held by one screw. Um, this one has three screws I believe. Okay. One more connection that I forgot. It's the main board right there. Usually you would find the main board uh, part number 
uh, like the, somewhere on here. So you, this one says 2288, QK2-2288. And there's going to be like a QM7 number too. So QM7 5320. Um, okay. So this is what we got so far. One of the things that may need your attention sometimes is this timing strip. And to remove it, you're going to push it to the right and get it from this hook. And then this is the spring side. So it's loaded with the L, like the letter L, uh, visible on the left side. And it feeds through the back of the carrier. So make sure when you put it in, make sure you put it where the sensor is. It's a little bit hard to see. But you'll know if you did it right or not when you turn the printer on and if this slams back and forth, then you need to re, um, readjust the back. Um, really doesn't matter if you put the strip upside down, but it is important that you put it to the right side um, as far as left or right. Um, so basically that's, that's as far as I'm going to go. I don't think anybody ever really goes past here. Um, this is very rare to replace the drive motor. This is the drive belt right here, uh, that goes in the back also. Um, if you need to replace the carrier unit, you would just need to remove this rail that holds it in place without like, so it doesn't pop out. So it's four screws. You'll see the screws are unique. They're kind of like flat, very flat head. And then this removes. That should give you the opportunity to slide it out. Or maybe not. Maybe you need to remove more here. So I'm not really going to go that far. Oh no, it does remove. So you're good there. Just by removing the rail, just like other printer models that we've had. And then you're going to disconnect the... Uh, drive belt and you got this one out the wiring for it is right here you can either remove the plastic that holds the wire slide it to the right and here you've got a carrier assembly for this printer so thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was either entertaining or helpful for your maintenance project or repair project on your printer Anyway, good luck with your printer, and uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel, and have a great day.